Hi guys, it's Monica. I am going to share with you some things that I have been using and absolutely loving. So I'm not going to say this is my monthly favorites because I haven't done a monthly favorites in a long time. So maybe I'm going to say this is my summer favorites in that sense. Um, some of this will be things I've mentioned in previous videos or shown in previous videos, but I think sometimes it's really good to see what people really like to use and what they've used often. Some of this I have bought myself. Some of it was gifted to me. Actually, most of it I bought myself, but I'm going to share it with you in a moment. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing if you have not already done so. Please like the video, give it a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it. So stay tuned for my favorites. So I have got a bunch of stuff here that I'm going to mention in no particular order, but things that I have really been liking and using. So I'm going to start out with these clean skin, <laughs> clean skin club. I think I might have mentioned these before. Now this is a club, I think, that you can sign up for. I really like these towelettes. They are dry, so when you open them up, you can uh, put them in a bag. You can take them out like this and you wet them. You can rinse them out. You can use one side as a little bit softer, smoother. The other side can be a little bit of a, a light exfoliation. This was actually gifted to me from Marlene Fab and Glam when I was down visiting with her in Florida. These cloths are amazing. I took them with me because I went on the cruise and they worked absolutely beautiful. I, I didn't have to worry about, you know, a, a cleansing thing or anything that to stay wet because I do have those wet ones that you open up and they tend to dry out, right? So this was awesome. I also bought over the counter and I think, um, oh my gosh, you can't, you know, this is kind of funky because they don't really have their name on the package once I opened up the box. But I, I believe... I bought this in, I think it was probably Walgreens. There's many different, I think, I think uh, a lot of the big brands have these dry cleansing cloths. Now, if I can come up with the name of this, if I can figure out which one this was, <laughs> I'll let you know. But the whole point is, I love the dry towelettes. You wet them, you can take almost everything off, although I do use a little bit of help with my mascara, but you can take all your makeup off and then you can kind of polish your skin afterwards. You can rinse it out and, and you know, then do your second wash or whatever with it. I love them. They don't dry out, obviously. Just all you need is a little bit of water. So using this, especially if you are a traveler, if you go on trips, is like a lifesaver. So thank you to Molly and Fab and Glam for Introducing me to them. I love them. Well, while I'm talking about Marlene, I might as well mention this as well. When we were visiting Marlene, she was drinking a drink called Celsius Live Fit. Um, you know, there's a couple of different variations of it. And she let me try it. And she said she really likes this. It, she gives her, you know, she feels like it gives her energy. Well, it does have a lot of caffeine. So if you don't want caffeine in your life, this might not be for you. They may have other energy drinks that don't have caffeine. I don't know. I haven't looked. But I am absolutely addicted to the Celsius. And I've been drinking the peach vibe. But I buy the multiple flavor pack, big, big, like a case of it. And I usually have one a day. I limit myself to one a day. And I usually have it sometime in the morning, probably before I work out, after I've had my regular coffee. And this kind of gets me through the morning. If I'm teaching a class, if I'm on a Zoom class and I'm teaching, this is what I'm usually drinking. And um, it just it just gives me that, that little boost of energy. Plus, I like the way it tastes. It tastes really good. So I have the peach vibe. They call this essential energy, accelerated metabolism, burns body fat. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know if it's burned my body fat, but I really do like it. And the other thing that I have uh, discovered, you guys know I have dry eye and I take eye drops. I try to do stuff for my dry eye, but I love to have a mask on, an eye mask on. 
and I have an electric one that I plug in and I have another one with little beads that I put in the micro microwave that I that warms up my electric one that I plug in I use it like a lot when I'm at home in bed or whatever and I have electricity but sometimes you know it might not be convenient to bring an electric eye mask with you wherever you're going right and it takes up room and, and all that stuff so I had discovered these these are called steam eye mask now it, it says it's for uh, increased you know uh, fine lines it not increased but it'll help you with your fine lines <laughs> in your blood circulation um, it does supposedly re relieve ti uh, tired eyes and anti dark circles I've not used it enough to say that it would do the dark circles but what I do use when you take this out you can do it on an airplane you can do it on a boat you can do it anywhere that if you need to have an eye mask to relieve your eye mask to relieve tension or dry eye or just to have that warmth the type of feeling on your eye then this is for you so I you just open it up you make sure that the white part is on your eye and not facing out they have a little strap you can go around your ear to hold it in place and then you can just lie there it says you know or stand there do whatever it says for 20 or 30 minutes I leave it on a little bit longer if I'm lying down or whatever I'm doing I might be listening to an audiobook or a um, a, a podcast or two cry podcast I'm so bad when it comes to that but this is really cool I got this on Amazon I'll link the information if you want I just think it's it's a really cool you know cool um, especially for traveling and I have been doing a fair bit of traveling whether I'm in my motorhome or you know Jay and I are going on a trip um, we've got a cruise planned you know we're going on a, a multifaceted trip and uh, I'm not too sure when this is going to go public but that's one of the things that I'm bringing with me on that trip to have on just to give my eyes a break when I'm on the, a plane ride especially a long plane ride and then you get train rides and bus rides and all that stuff just to give yourself a break the other thing that I absolutely love and I wish I had discovered these a long long time ago because I have done the plastic bag routine to put stuff in I mean take a plastic bag wrap my little you know spray uh, around it a couple of times because it always opens up or leaks out and stuff like that now I'm not talking carry-on size I'm talking about luggage right or anything like that but these leak locks I got them on Amazon and they're they say they're toiletry skins but yeah they will fit over a bottle if you want you know um, Oops, I just dropped it. Let me get another one. They will fit over a bottle. You stretch it. And when you do that, you can then, if you, you know, depending on, on the size of your bottle, which one you use, they have different, they have different sizes. But if you stretch it over your bottle, your can, whatever you want to bring on the plane, and you have the size that fits it, then it's going to not leak out, right? So you basically stretch it over whatever container you have. That you don't want something to leak out right and you pull it all the way down right and when you pull it all the way down it is like a secure fit over this and if I went out to pack this in my suitcase I would not have a worry in the world that this was gonna tip and come out so these I think these locks are um, they're just amazing leak locks I got them on off of Amazon I have a second package here that's got different sizes so if you're decanting your makeup like I have done I don't know if that video has gone public yet or not but you'll see that I have used that these I just love them so this is a great Amazon find oh makes me super happy love it love it love it the other thing that I've mentioned and now I took the cover off and I don't know what I did with it Oh well. Anyways, the other thing that I've mentioned a lot that I really have been enjoying is the Kenra Volume Spray. I have the number 25. And I have this in a little travel size. I have it in another size in my motorhome. And this is the one that I have at home. This Volume Spray, I don't use it as hairspray. When I, now, it's kind of weird to talk about hair when I don't have my bio hair there. I have my wig on. But I don't use it as a hairspray. I use it as when I tease my bio hair up, I spray this all on. And then my bio hair, I just kind of let it dry and I look like, you know, a witch. And then after it dries on, then I kind of comb it out. 
because I like to have a little body in my hair because I have I don't have a whole lot of it so I like to fluff it up so and this is what I do to help create some volume and then I just do regular hairspray to hold it in place but I am loving that I've used it for quite a while and and I love it and yes I paid for it this is a product that was gifted to me salon in a bottle it's a root touch-up and I have used this I think I got this about maybe two months ago and I have used this for a long time now I think almost three or four times a week for the last two or three months I love this stuff if you have grays um, if you have just different roots and even if you have areas in your scalp that's lighter that you can even see through that you know if you're losing your hair or your hair is thinning this stuff is amazing yes you can get the L'Oreal and you can spray the L'Oreal because I've used that for a long time you've heard me talk about it but I really am enjoying the salon in a bottle root touch-up I have it in a dark blonde and in a light brown I use the light brown more than the dark blonde so I have not been going to the hairdresser as often and I have all my grays are blended in my it you know when you look at it I almost look like uh, parts of my bio hair it looks almost platinum so I use this to give myself a tinge of color I also have used this on wigs that might be too light and I want to darken them up a little bit I sprayed this on what I really like about this is it doesn't feel like building up on my hair. It, I don't feel like when I put some of the other sprays on, I feel mm, messy, I guess. This works really nice. So if you are looking for anything that can cover up your roots, um, give you a different, you know, tinge of color. If you're all, if you're going gray and you want to just give it a little bit of a boost of color, I really like these. They, they last, easy to apply. You just lift this off. It sprays. And really easy to apply. You know, the nozzle, shake it up good and do it. Again, this was gifted to me, but I will tell you, I would I would definitely purchase this over any of the other ones I've used, and I've used a number of them. I really like this. The other thing that I bought, right, I bought this. Um, because when I was thinking about going to Europe and I was thinking I don't want to have to pack a whole lot of eyeshadows and stuff like that but I wanted to have more of a ability to have more of a natural eye look and that's what I've been trying to do you know in some of my videos I don't have a whole lot of eye makeup on but enough that I feel you know I you can see my lashes you can see a little bit of color and when I go to Europe I want to downplay that as well I don't want to be walking around I'm certainly never going to be walking around with false eyelashes and I'm not going anywhere that's a glam event I'm going to be meeting family I haven't seen since I was 12 when I last went there and Jay's going to be meeting family he's never met before and then we're going on a cruise and stuff like that so I wanted something very simple so I ordered these and these are the Julep Beauty. I ordered them and I also ordered the Thrive. And I really, really wanted the Thrive. And you know what happened? The Thrive was delivered to my post office, handed over to somebody, and I never got it. So somebody in my town of Hampstead got my package by mistake and clearly could have seen a name and could have returned it to the post office, but clearly decided they wanted to keep the Thrive. And I had gotten, I think, three of the eyeshadow pencils. So the Julep I bought myself off of Amazon, the Thrive I bought, I think I saw it off their website, but I, I bought all of them. And the Julep I really like. I haven't really discovered, I'm going to think about it because I've got a, I've got three shades here that I really kind of like and my favorite that I've been trying to do my crease in has been this darker one. Let's see if it's going to show. It's not that dark and it's more of a purpley color and then this have been doing my all over and this is more of a pinkish. You know if you can see that. And this one color I haven't really, I'm not a fan of. I just feel it's too 
too gold for me. I'm going to put it on the top. It's too gold. And if I do use it, it's just going to be a pop in the inside. So these are the three colors that I have in the julep. Unfortunately, the Thrive, I've not replaced it. I did put a search in the post office. They haven't found it. It was delivered. It was put in the box. I know I didn't get it, but, you know, I can't prove who did get it. So I haven't bothered to buy the Thrive again, but I, and I do like the Julep a lot. So I think I'm going to look for maybe a different shade, uh, maybe a brown to see how I would like that. And I, I don't know if I can do this soon because I would like to bring it on my trip. Um, one other thing that I got for my trip that I've been using because I realized when I bought it, I bought like a multiple pack of it. And I said, this would be really cool to use on a regular basis. And I have. So I've been using it in the RV. This is actually the Bounce Static Remover Wrinkle Release. And I have another one. Wrinkle Release. You just kind of spray whatever might be super wrinkled if you don't have an iron, if you're traveling, especially. And that's what I bought it for. And you can, if you have in a shower, you can run steam and boom, it'll refresh it. So I'm teaching a couple of classes where I'm going to be driving to and I'll be put up in a hotel. And um, this will be a really good addition to have with me. Oof. You know, my built bars, my puffs. Yeah, this is the banana cream, banana cream pie flavor. And I absolutely love the puffs because they are that marshmallow, they have that chocolate, they have a little bit of a flavor. One bar, depending on which one it is, this one I think is 140 calories. It's a snack. It's a snack. And it, it's a snack that doesn't make me feel bloated, bad, or, you know, whatever. It's a snack. It's nice and light. I just really love it. So I cannot recommend the Built Bars enough. I just think they're super good. They're so tasty. And there's often sales and coupons and stuff like that. So Built Bars. Love, 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 love them. One of the things that I have gotten are packing cubes. And I bought these packing cubes. I think I've had them for over a year now. I think I bought these packing cubes for um, when we were going on the cruise and I wanted to make sure that I was able to pack light. No, you know when I bought these packing cubes? I bought these packing cubes when we flew to Florida and rented a car and that would have been in January, I think of 2023. So I bought these packing cubes, they're compression bags. I've used them a lot. I got a black set for Jay. This is called Bagel. B-A-G-A-I-L, Bagel, I gotta look it up. I bought these for Jay, the black ones, and I bought myself the purple ones. They come with a pack of four. Um, the smallest one right now, I have my underwear packed into it, but they pack a four, you know, take this big one, pack pants maybe, um, tops and the medium size one, but anyways, they are compression, you pack them, and then you, there's two zippers, and then you, you squeeze out there, you do the second zipper, and that compresses it. They have held up beautifully. For, I, I, since I've owned these for quite a while now, I, I'm surprised at how well they've held up. They've held up beautifully. They compress the clothes, and they, they look nice. I You know, you take them out. I know purple's mine, black is Jay's, and we're good to go. So I am loving those, and I think those have been a lifesaver if you are packing in a smaller suitcase. The thing is, though, when you use compression cubes, you sometimes can still overpack because it compresses it so small, and that'll add weight. So if you are traveling, be mindful of the weight if you just overpack your compression cubes. But I just think it's great. I also bought, for me, um, baby oil gel. I use a lot of baby oil. I use a lot of moisturizer. I use Vaseline at times on my body to keep myself moisturized. But this baby oil gel, this is the actual, the Equate uh, one, the brand, I think you get the Equate in um, Walmart. I really like it because it doesn't spill and go all over the place. I've used this. This is my second one that I bought. I've used it to just do a little bit more moisturizer on my leg legs, my arms, my neck, my decollete, and I've even used it on my eyes around here um, and on my crow's feet, you know, where my wrinkles are and also down in my jowl. So I use a little bit of it to give myself heavy moisturizer on spots that I might need it. 
So where am I at? Oh, Jones Road. Um, Jones Road sent me, and I got the brushes, and they had sent me the starter kit, and I talked about it in the previous video. One is sort of like a, a blush that kind of like gives you a kiss of color, and the other is sort of like a very light foundation. I've been using these. The way I've used this foundation is that I use my regular foundation very lightly, and then I dig into this and I might spread this on top of it, and it kind of just... I don't even have to really push it into my skin because it kind of, I don't even know how to describe it. It kind of melts into my skin and would make even if I, let's just say I had a cakey foundation on underneath, although I try not to ever have cakey foundation, put this on top. It, it really makes whatever you have underneath look awesome. So I am really loving this. And then the, the blush, um, it's very translucent, lucent. I put that on top and sometimes I put it on my lips. It's really awesome. And they did give me, you know, the brush and then the little spatula thing. Um, and then I think in the mail, I, I haven't used it yet, so I'm not going to talk about it. They sent me a, a lip balm and a mascara. So until I use it, I'm not going to really mention it. I haven't even opened it yet. But I do like this. And I can see why older women really like it because... When I look at my wrinkles and I wear my regular foundation, eat, no matter what foundation it is, I have to put a little bit of oil, squalene oil, marula oil, a little bit of oil in it or on my hands and spread it and then put it on my face. Because my face, you might not see it that much, but my face dries and I can have, is very dry and I can have cakiness if I'm not careful. So I always have to make sure that I try to blend a little bit. But putting this the blush just makes me like I have a little bit of a, a kiss, a sun kiss look or whatever. I'm really liking this and I can see the appeal for an older woman especially. Although I think anyone that just wants that sun kissed look and more of a youthful translucent skin and you don't want to wear a lot of makeup, this is going to be your best friend. And even if you have your own foundation underneath, adding this on top will just perfect that whole look, in my opinion. So I'm loving this. Again, this was sent to me complimentary, and I just got something else in the mail in PR from them, which was a lip balm and a mascara. Haven't tried it yet. I'll let you know how I like it. I also get a lot of PR from City Beauty, and they had sent a couple of lipsticks that, um, that I used a couple of... Um, I don't know, it was a month or so ago. I, I've been using it. I really like it. They also sent another of their City Lips Lip Plumping. I haven't used this one yet. I will dig into this. And their Lip Line Therapy. So if you have lip lines, you know, I, and I'm not going to promote this in the sense of letting, you know, saying it works because I haven't used it yet. I just started to. But if you have those lip lines that go above your lip, I find the best thing that I have been doing for my lip lines has been using my Nera device. I have really, really, really like that. So I don't have it in front of me, but my, my top three skincare is my Lead Light Therapy Mask that I use from Candy Way. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and my Nera device, I only have the small one, the Precision, and I do use it most days and I use it in my trouble spots. I really like that as well. The other device that I use is my zip device. I've been really trying to work on my jowls, especially as I lose more weight, to exercise them. So the zip device, my Nera device, and my red light therapy device, those are my all-time favorites. I do have the red light for my hands. I don't use it as much because the machine is, um, it's a current body, the machine is, is big. And I also have a helmet that I wear um, from current body as well and for my hair. And I do like that. I use that when I'm home for my hair, red light. Um, when I'm away, I always pack my Candy Way red light mask and I just lay it on the top of my head. So anyways, I'm sure this is long, but... I just wanted to share, I think I got all of my favorites in, I hope. Um, this I talked about in my diet video. This is the Colin Brum. Yeah, definitely, definitely a favorite. I think I've got everything in though that I'm seeing in front of me. So I think I'm good to go for this video, I hope. But um, yeah, that's what I've been loving all summer. It's my summer favorites or 
maybe even longer than my summer favorites, but they are my favorites. So thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you in my next video. You guys are awesome. Please thumbs up the video if you haven't already done so. And if you are new here, please subscribe. I would truly appreciate it. Bye, guys.